Hey guys, it's M Beans and welcome to my channel or welcome back. Today we are going to work on my museum area and I want a land bridge leading up to it. This is my first ever land bridge that I have made. So we will see how it goes. So the museum is going to come, let's see, we're gonna go up my entrance here to the left and then we are going to come around here and it's, I, I just started doing this terraforming just to kind of see what it would look like. So, um, I'm going to make the land bridge like go straight down like this way and there will be water on each side. Um, I know the new trend is to do a curved land bridge, but I am going to do one of those at the back of my island to get to my house later on. So I want to try to do a straight one here with some cool waterscaping next to it. So let's get started, settle in, kick your feet up, grab a snack and enjoy the music. I hope you can find some peace in this day and just follow along. I'll be doing a voiceover as we go. Let's speed this up. So the first thing I'm going to do is just try to make the museum even with resident services and kind of figure out where exactly I want it to be positioned. So you will enjoy me getting frustrated trying to do that. <laughs> so here I am just laying out some paths so I can look at the map since this kind of path will show up on the map. So I can look at the map and see how centered it will be. I really don't know the dimensions of the museum off of the top of my head, but um, let's just see what it looks like. So the museum is actually back one space too far, so boom, I fixed it. Um, I didn't want you guys to have to sit there and watch me do that all over again. So I just scooted it up one tile. So now I am just building the start of my land bridge, seeing what is the center. And I do want to have two cherry blossom trees down here, so I'm going to add them in, and then the rest will be water. So you will see me go back and reshape the trees, the base around the trees. And then I'm playing with some different custom designs. I struggle with a lot of paths. Um, you'll see me change them frequently. And I did expand the land bridge. I do like the way it looks better here with more space to be able to walk on it. So I spent like two hours trying to find custom designs that I liked and then I go back and I actually delete a lot of them that you saw just now and I go and find more. So that's my toxic trait. Let me know what yours is. In between all of these waterfalls I'm going to put some hyacinths. I really like the way that looks. It's really pretty. I'm going to alternate white and pink. And then here I'm going to mimic the other side. So I really try to make it even, trying to make the trees even.
So if you want to know what my design codes I use are, I'm going to try to put a lot in the description, but I also have them on my Instagram and my code highlights. So I wanted to try these heart paths and the stone path I didn't like. So the heart path, I actually got the inspiration from Brooke, which I just did an island tour from her on my last video definitely check out her island if you get a chance because it is gorgeous and that is ACNH with Brooke at um, on Instagram this pathway is from Nook by the book on um, Instagram I don't know why I keep forgetting that word but I will definitely have those in the description. Here I'm just trying to figure out what I like in between the hearts because I can't put them up next to each other. For a while I leave it with these railroad ladder paths but I change it later because I really it's just too busy. I need to expand this to finish the heart off. So I try waterscaping here, but I end up getting rid of all of it, so just kind of ignore that for now. Here I'm just trying to um, alternate from above. The waterscaping here I do keep, but I haven't decided what I'm going to do on the left side. So um, that's just kind of a space filler for now.
of course, have to include the bubbles. Play with these two small areas right here a lot but I do something completely different in the end just stick with me guys I really don't like how I only have two spaces in front of the museum down there, but I make it work because I'm not going back and moving anything. I can't move the museum back because it's even with resident services and I don't want to cut off an entire heart path, so we're just going to roll with it. I made a little picnic area here with some reading. Spots. I haven't added the reading spot yet, but I will. Here I try to do something on the left, but I really don't know what to do, so I erase all of that and just focus on the museum area instead. So here I get rid of the ladder design and I just add some random cute designs that I found.
here is Shep. He was being super cute through there. He and Marshall were dancing, but um, I didn't catch it on camera, sadly. They were both dancing together under my pergolas. I loved it. Also, I know you didn't see me add the pergolas there. I was on vacation and I wanted to get some things done and I couldn't help myself to decorate that area. Here I'm making a little cafe for the roost, like a small little setup for the roost. I wanted to put the coffee beans there, but it was covering my little Brewster mannequin back there, so that didn't work. I've been trying to figure out where to incorporate this little chess game that I'm about to show you, and I decided to just put it right there. Adding the few finishing details. The left side I'm just going to leave empty basically. All right, here is the final product. I love this aerial view. I'm very happy with how this turned out. But I hope you guys enjoyed this build. I hope I could help inspire you to make some little areas around your museum. Please let me know in the comments what your favorite area is or if you think I should change something. I'm totally down for any kind of feedback. Look how cute Brewster is. I'll have the designs on my Instagram and I'll try to put them in the description as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. If you hit that notification bell, you will be notified when I upload a new video. I hope you guys have a lovely day, and I will see you in the next one.